Welcome back to uh. Oh. Oh. Why did that first one not do it? You just got it on the wrong side. Well, I'm playing. Oh, okay. Because BJ just said you got it on the wrong side. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> At the beginning of this, before this episode, Josh was like, well, just just act like you're playing and see how long we can keep that up. Turns out, not long. <laughs> <laughs> not fucking long at all. I'm gonna try it again. I'm yeah, because he realized how fun it was just getting me out of the level. So I guess... A little bit. Yeah. Uh, um, so we're gonna go to... Go it to controls battle. better than I thought it did. Yeah, it's a, it's a very fluid game. Oh, not that. You, you, cause you jump right in front of him. Now with those, you can actually, uh, after the initial jump, you can bounce off of the pad. What do you mean? Like you can, you can uh, see where he does that first jump. You can actually move the analog stick and bounce away from it. There's some parts in the game that use that, where like it's a little too far away, so you go like boo, boo, boo. Gotcha. As he makes his noise. Am I heading boop, up to boop. Gobi? Yeah, but I would hope so. What's this? Did we already do this? I don't know. Oh, yes, we did. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there, I think there was a jiggy in there. Oh, a fishy. That is... This is Bubble free. Loop swamp. Okay. Oh, f there's a thing in there, though. Okay. I can't remember if it leads to a portrait or not, but it's, you know, that ice block that uh, it was outside the level? Um, I don't you have to turn into an alligator. But I'm wondering if so that... I'm gonna have to go back into Bubble Gloop Swamp. Yeah, yeah, I can guide you to it. We can also just skip. I'm gonna be. You know what I'm gonna be really pissed about? What? Is if we go through here oh, that was close. and it's blocked up again? Oh God, no! It can't be. There's no way. Because we technically quit out. That's true, but. I don't think they would. It probably counts as, like, level progress. You know, it came back, you know? Okay, it's not there. <laughs> Although this is a portrait room, so I don't think this would lead to a portrait. Now that I think about it. It's probably just to another jiggy. Oh, God, fuck. This scared me as a kid. Only one, one soul Cheeto can tell enter the code. Blue eggs on Sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove world. Help you, it will. I can't remember if that actually increases your egg count or just refills them. Either way, I've never had a problem with running out of eggs. So there's... So this was pointless. Yeah, I guess so. I, I always loved this, though, as a kid. Like, finding these little secrets where you have to come back and you can only fit as an alligator. It was really fun to explore as, as, a, as a child, as a simple-minded human. You know, Grant Kirkhope voiced that guy. Printella? No, the... Uh, the uh, yeah. That's what uh, he said in the Game Grumps. He was like, that's me. Oh, that's me. Brilliant. Going back and, and uh, watching that, you could tell how much... I don't think Grant really likes Aaron. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, Aaron didn't play these games as a kid, so he doesn't have that childlike connection to him. He's not, like, starstruck like John was. Okay, that is the entrance. Okay, so we just need to find the portrait. Yeah. Uh, that's opened with a grunty switch. Okay. I think grunty switches are always in levels. I remember where it is! Go upwards in here. There's like a spiral staircase going around the room or something. I'm gonna go through here. No, that's- your sequence breaking! No! You're skipping two whole levels! <laughs> Actually, this might be where you need to go, I'm not sure. I think it is. Yes, this is where you need to go. And I think- I think you will find that it is right here. Nice. It only took us ten minutes. Well, we skip some. It's Gobi's Valley. What did I say? Gobi Valley. Oh. 
Well, go bees somewhere Can else. I down there? That's, uh, what, that stuff? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's just hot pizza. It's okay. <laughs> It'll sting your feet a little. We're gonna play Ape Escape on here. Is there a hot pizza level? Ooh, the spooky level. You side with Banjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. I, I don't know what change tack means. Why didn't they put B? <laughs> Come on! This is the beehive. Why would a beehive say B bee puns? It's the bees that do that. Can you peck that with A B? Yes, you can. Alright, I'm just gonna keep fucking going around to different places. I don't know what this is. <clears throat> what the? He's an Auburn fan. That's why I hate him so much. <laughs> uh, you go in there as the transformation. Oh, okay. Seems to be a pattern. Dude, my dad ingrained hatred for Auburn fans in me. The same thing? Yeah, my dad did too. Like, it's, it's like... I will literally, I'll be driving, and like some jackass will cut me off, and they have an Auburn tag, and I'm like, oh fucking course. Of course. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> and I'm like, but Alabama fans will do it too, and I don't ever question that. <laughs> well, they probably have something important to get to. <laughs> I, I'm not even that like super into football. I'm zero into football, like, but it's still ingrained in you. But I was into bonding with my dad. Yes. Yeah, so so, like, he was Alabama man, I was Alabama boy. boy. Alabama my, boy. And my mom was... Uh, <laughs> and my mom was uh, Auburn. So they always... they always, Like, they always had the... Uh, they always had, like, the game bets where, uh... Whoever's team lost, they had to get a picture in the other team's jersey. That is the most tame bet in the world. I know, it was real fucking risky. I think... I want to say... Did you ever just want to eat, like, some cool whip? <laughs> I want to say uh, one year mom made Mike run down his street in his underwear that's a little less tame yeah yeah you didn't answer me though uh no but I have been very tempted to eat cream cheese Just... and by tempted I mean I've eaten a bunch of cream cheese they before. okay they have fucking cheesecake filling at Walmart and like I really just want to buy a tub of it we don't have this much do we no okay but whenever I make a bagel, I kind of sample a bagel's worth of cream cheese on the side as I'm as I'm cream cheesing it. Cause I fucking love cream cheese. Uh, there might be like a mumbo token or something up here. Chandler does not like cream cheese. Wow. She doesn't like cheesecake. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, cheesecake? I like cream cheese better than cream cheese cheesecake. Go behind the the hat thing. There's something back there. E come. Oh, oh it's a, come. It's a banjo award. You won the coveted banjo award of 2019. Oh, fuck. No. I guess all we can do now is just go to Golby's Valley. Yeah. At least do something this episode. God damn, dude. I really want to go to Walmart and get the cheesecake filling. <laughs> eat it. I don't need it. Like, I'm... I've actually started to lose weight again. And, like... I'll tell you what. Give yourself a target weight and your reward will be go to Walmart and eat I am cheesecake filling. And undo 15 it 15.4 pounds away from my target weight. Well, you know what? 15.4 pounds away, you can you can go eat a tub of cream filling cheese. Dude, you know what? Kind of like... Um, the, the I had to return my uh, wedding band again. I'm having really bad luck getting the accurate size of my wedding band. Your muscles are atrophying. And... I said that some lady was like, well, what are you doing? You losing weight or something? Like the ma the mailbox. And I was like, well, I, well, I don't, it's, I have been, but it's, it's, I, I haven't had the ring, you know, before then. She was like, oh, how much did you lose? And I was like, I've lost, uh, I've lost 50 pounds so far. And she was like, wow, what'd you do? And I was like, I dieted. I ate less I ate than less. my body used. Yeah. 
And she seems shocked by that. She's like, I've tried. No, you didn't. Doesn't work. Okay. Whoa! You're surrounded by water! Boy, it's a fucking tree! What do you expect? Let me peck him in there. Maybe it's salt water. Um, and then... Like, I I was like, yeah, but I've still got a few more to lose. And she's like, you don't need to lose any more weight. Oh. And I'm like, no, fuck you, bitch! <laughs> like, that's what fat people always say. To me. Well, you know, they always tell me I don't need to lose any more weight, and I'm like, no, I do. I, I am, I am still considered overweight. I have lost weight, yes. I think. Well, the thing is, it's a matter of perspective. I think an obese person would love to be overweight. You know what I mean? Right. But I was obese before. Yeah. And like now I'm not. Now I am just overweight. And I want to not be overweight. I want to be at the recommended BMI that I'm supposed to be at for my height and age. And, but like, yeah, it's always people who are fucking fatter than me always tell me to stop losing weight. And I'm like, look, if you, like, I have my goal, man. Let me be where I want to be. Don't tell me to, like, my mom says I'm at a healthy weight right now. I'm like, no, I'm not. Doctor says I'm fucking overweight still. Doctor says I gotta be at 170. Well, what do doctors know? Doesn't they try to go? Well, BMI doesn't. Don't you know that body weight is just a social construct? <laughs> yeah, she's trying to tell me BMI doesn't like, like mean anything. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it does. Aren't, aren't there some cases where it kind of gets skewed based on um, muscle? Mm hmm. You think I got that's, muscle? That's that's my problem. I'm considered obese because of all this muscle. Right, but like I'm no, I'm pretty much no muscle, so it's <sighs> once I'm at 170, I will be in the healthy range for my height. I'm like 235 right now. I was at I was at 240 at, when I started. And I'm currently at 185. I'm like the same weight I was when I graduated high school. I have fluctuated very, very wildly. I, I've been just kind of hovering around 230, 250 ever since then. Just like, you know, I've been fat the whole time, but I've been consistently fat. <laughs> it's the new, the new Chantron video. Or right, the second. The not the newest, but like the one before. Yeah. Uh, where uh, OJ was talking about how some of us, we've gained some weight after growing up. John's like, no, some of us were always just fast. <laughs> but John's lost weight, hasn't he? He lost a bunch of weight and then he gained some of it back. Like people are, people are, it, it, it's it's really easy to notice when he wasn't uploading much. So like one video he was like fat, and then another one he was like really skinny, and then the next one he was fat again. But that's like over the course of about two years. So he has been uploading more frequently. But yeah, he's uploaded like three videos in the last two months, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, uh wrong one, dipshit. Wrong again. What? It won't shoot it that way, you press the button that go that way. The Y button. It makes more sense on the N64, I know. What? You're just ignoring the- I'm oh, wait, yeah, you're dead, you're dying, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I forgot you were dying. I, uh, I was watching, uh- Is there I... something up here? There's notes. I, uh, I started watching the IT crowd again. I, Since it's still on Netflix, have you seen that? I uh, saw of it. It's, it's not as funny as the laugh track would make you think. Yeah, that, that's. I mean, that's that's kind of true of all fucking sitcoms with the laugh track. That's the only sitcom with the laugh track that I like, though, because some of the jokes are fucking funny. I love the scene where there's something on fire, and then Moss is like, "Oh, four. I mean five. I mean, fire! 
And then he, he he starts going at it with the fire extinguisher, but then the fire extinguisher bursts into flames, and he's like, I'll just put this here with the rest of the fire. <laughs> and he just, like, leaves it. And then later in the episode, the boss is coming down, so they just, like, set up a, a, an old monitor around it. And he's like, nice screensaver. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's all a bunch of fun oh, characters. Oh, God. Okay. You're taking up my time! I love that. It's fun. It's funny because you do uh, Goobaga! Hey. Dagubaga! I'm on a timer! <clears throat> there was one scene where am I, am I, I'm not doing this. I need the speedy shoot. Yeah, you do. Okay. Um there's one scene where uh somebody stomped on Jen's foot and uh, she started like screaming a long, loud of the string of curses at the guy. And uh they were all bleeped out. And, uh, the boss was reprimanding her, and he was like, But you, good job on the buzzer. And he was right next to the sensor buzzer. And then he turns around, and he's like, But Jen, you fucked up. <laughs> but but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fix that in post, because the joke only works if you... Because the, the guy buzzed it at the wrong time. And he actually said fuck. They, I don't think they ever say fuck on that show, except for that one point. It's a good show! Let's see. But it didn't stick with me. That's fine. You know what? I'm not gonna push it. I'm not gonna pull an Iron Man on you. I'm going to accept that you don't like it. You liked Iron Man. I I like the first half of Iron Man. I don't like when they become superheroes. So you would like you would like the first half of uh, Captain America, <sighs> the first Avenger. No, I'm not making you watch it. I'm just saying uh, from what you're describing. It seems like origin stories are, are, are a bit more interesting to me. Right. Less about the actual act of superheroing and more about like the human behind the mask. That's why Spider-Man movies work so well for me. Yeah, Spider-Man like, always half of, taps half into... of Spider-Man is like Peter Parker. Yeah. And I did enjoy at least the Raimi movies. I never watched anything. God damn it. Is it why? Okay. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. You know, you can... If you press one of the bumpers, the camera will angle immediately behind you. Oh, I didn't know that. What the fuck? Oh god, the ground's getting a boner. Oh, he's moved over! I pitched a tent. How go over? How go over there? Oof. Man, I'm bad at this. Well, you know what? I enjoy watching you. Oh god, it's such an overcorrection. Yeah. In Banjo Tooie, you can actually shoot in first person. It's a little easier. I swear to god, if all of this is just to get an Egan Bokum. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you it was two Egan Bokums? I'd be pissed, because I'm not even doing a transformation. Because you can get Egan both of them. That's gotta be it, right? Okay. Ooh, I need to fly through the cactus, don't I? What makes you think of that? There's a big hole in his mouth and it's not for taking dick. Did you do the thing on top of the Sphinx? With his nose? No. No. Okay. You gotta do that. What's on top of the Sphinx, exactly? It's the platforms in front of him. What do I do? Get on the platforms. The Sphinx will tell you the rest. Ah! Which I don't get. His nose is blocked up, so... You're fixing it by putting eggs in his nose. By blocking it up further? Oh. Okay. Yeah. He sneezed. Do you know anything about Egyptian mythology? 
Make the make sure the Sphinx knees. Get on your knees. <laughs> that's what that's the old that's what the hieroglyphics always say. Oh. Ah! Uh, Holy fuck! It's a master. No, not a master hand. A wall master. Floor master. Something. Wall masters come from the ceiling. Floor masters hang around. I think. Unless it's the other way around. You're supposed to uh, ground pound him. I'm gonna die. You can just run away. He'll probably drop some. Uh... Whoa! Shockwaves. No. Oh my god. Thankfully, that did not reset your your notes. Did it used to? I think it, I think dying did. Maybe it didn't, but I know exiting a level did. I got it. Oh, fuck! You gotta do that again. It block. It reset all my progress. It didn't reset all your progress. This game it might sucks. Have just... Make up your fucking mind. Pick one. I'm sorry, you Lou. You, you get hit by I something. I can't believe I lost progress by letting a thing kill me. Yeah, but like this is obnoxious. Having to get back and up. And you know here. what else is obnoxious? Watching somebody who's absolute shit at video games. I'm sorry. I didn't play this fucking game when I was a kid. <laughs> Why not? What is wrong with you? You gotta. You but you played fucking Glover, the game you play when you're done with Banjo Kazooie and just want something else. But you know, no, you went straight for Glover. I just got Glover for <laughs> Christmas from my grandma. <sighs> Did you play Space Station Silicon Valley? No. Did you play E.E.'s Wrecking Balls? No. Did you play Goemon's Great Adventure? Yes. Or Legend of the Middle. No, I played Goemon's Great Adventure. I did not play Legend, Legend of Mystical Ninja. I can't. I didn't play any of those games. Goemon's Great Adventure was the 3D hub world, but 2D side-scrolling levels, right? I can't remember. We should play that. It's co it's two-player co-op. I've only played the stupid Nintendo Legend of Mystical Ninja. And for what I played, it's pretty fun. He 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 ha 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 ha. You feel like you're pissed. gonna die inside this cave. That's right. Oh fuck! What up, Jinjo? Benjo. Benjamin with Benjo. <laughs> Come on now. Do I need to shoot more than one? I think you only need to do one. Uh, Send it to the camera. Uh, oh no, God, you dumped it all up. I'm sorry. I want to. Play Paper Mario. <laughs> well, too fucking bad. I want to play. I've been wanting to play Paper Mario for so fucking long, and I just I don't I don't know how to put it on my Wii at this point. Did you not? I figured you somehow did it. No, nope. with my guidance. No, I started playing it on an emulator. Well, goddamn. And that game does not play well on an emulator. Yeah, I remember it being kind of annoying to emulate. Almost every time I've tried to emulate it, it just crash in the first cutscene. With the when the. When the castle rises up. Yeah. Which also incidentally happens to be the first time in the game God, okay. where so the I... backlight effect on the sprites happen. So that must be it. I'm so bad at this. It actually emulated really well when I emulated it through Dolphin. Really? As a virtual console game. Huh. But if you're downloading the virtual console wad, you might as well just install it on your Wii. That's what I'd rather do. I just don't know how to do it. You download the wad, put it on, put it in your wads folder on your Wii, and then go into the multi mod manager and install it. Finally, wads are the channels in the Wii. Those are those are things that get installed and turn into channels. So this is the first jiggy I've gotten so far. I'm really bad. Next is time, that the first jiggy you've gotten? Yeah. Next time on, uh... Let me see your totals. Wow. 
Well, goddamn. Next time on, uh... <laughs> Sorry, there's like a harpy flying around your house. We got interrupted. Uh, we got a I said we're World of Warcraft. Aww.